Here in the land of was the heaven twice the fun Cause every single thing is really two in one A little bit of this, a little bit of that And when you add it up, you get a lot of that Nice to be back again in the wonderfully curious land of was, where never is heard a discouraging word. Ah, I thought you were taking me to lunch. I am, but the fun is in the getting there. Aren't these roller skis a scream? You took the words right out of my mouth. Look out! My appleberry cake! taking that cake to Hoppo. Don't worry. The Bumbleian Delivery Service will take it to her. <laughs> Hoppo, hands up! Cake at 12 o'clock high! <laughs> Special delivery. No charge. You... Oh, that was close. Nah, a piece of cake. What a bunga! Oh, look out for that tree! Where are the brakes, Bumble Lion? That's the brakes. And my roller skis are totally trashed. You braked it? You bought it? I've got the skinniest piggy wallet in town. If it helps, you don't have to buy me the lunch you promised. A promise is a promise, Ellaru. I'll just borrow enough money from Rhinoki. He's funny and always has money. Moo, I take your order. I can't decide. Oh, uh, maybe something light, like a, a taco turkey, fish fries, a burger dog, pizza getty. Hmm. Let's see. A choco berry shake, mashed potato pie. <laughs> Say, did you hear the one about the guy who walked into an antique store and asked, What's new? <laughs> hey, Rhinoki, what's shaking? Not me. <laughs> Boy, you're the funniest guy alive, Rhinoki. I try to keep a handle on things. <laughs> Say, Rhinoki, old pal, can you loan me some money to buy a new pair of roller skis? Sure, but my hands are dirty. Just reach into my vest pocket and take what you need. Gee, thanks. I knew I could count on you, Rhinoki. Gotcha again! <laughs> Here you go, Bumble Lion. Thanks, Rhinoki. Are you finished yet, Elaru? Oh, yeah, finished. Now for dessert. Sorry, we're all out of dessert. In fact, 
We're all out of food. Then I'll take the check before he eats that. Wonderful. That's all the money Rhinoki gave me. Oh, I'm sorry, Bumble Lion. Now my tummy is full, but your piggy wallet's empty. That means you can't buy new roller skis. I'm always broke. I want to be rich so I can buy things before I even want them. How about wishing for some money? Uh, that'll never work, Elaru. Oh, it can't hurt. Come on, make a wish. I wish I was rich. Polish up some jokes on you later. <laughs> Off I go. Another passenger, another dollar. And at a dollar a joke, I'll be rich in no time. <laughs> You should be happy, Bumble Lion, for you had the biggest half of the wishbone. A wishbone is just a silly superstition. Just because I wished for money, Ellaru, doesn't mean some will just drop out of the sky. Bumble Lion, are you all right? What, 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 what hit me? Just some money bags falling from the sky. Money bags from, from the, the sky? sky. Huh? Boy, I knew that wishbone stuff was for real. I'm rich. Yahoo! Hmm. I've heard of pennies from heaven, but really. I just hope Bumble Lion doesn't spend that money, or his good fortune may turn out to be Rhinoki's misfortune. We'll soon find out. Why are we stopping at Rhinoki's house? To pay back the loan he gave me. I don't want him to think I forgot it now that I'm rich, rich, rich! <sighs> the things I put up with for a few bucks. I guess money never comes easy. Looks like Rhinoki isn't home. Maybe we should come back. Nah. I'm not going through any more of his gags. I'll just leave the money in his mailbox. Looks like someone's in trouble. And I'll bet it's Rhinoki. He's probably guilty of assault with a deadly punchline. I'm telling you, I can't help you. Honest, I couldn't solve a jigsaw puzzle and only had two pieces. <laughs> Oh, come on, give me a break. The joke wasn't that bad. I know the money was in your cab in bags just like these. So cut the wise guy routine. Cut it? But it's my best routine. Oh, you're a tough audience. Hi there, guys. What's in the bags, Bumble Lion? You have to know everything. Of course. Whoa! Wait a minute. You can't fool me. That's play money, isn't it? Nope. It's the real McCoy. And now I'm gonna do all the things I've always dreamed about. Like what? Settle down with someone... <clears throat> special? Uh, no. Like, uh, like, like buy a yacht jet. Uh, a mansion in Wuzzerly Hills. Cruising the Wuzzle Beach and thinking the high class upscale friends I'll meet. And what am I? Small change? There's nothing small about you, Hoppo. But let's face it, when it comes to money, some of us have it, and most of you don't. I think I'll let him have it. Now I know what they mean by stinking rich. Gee, Bumble Lion, I think you hurt Hoppo's feelings. Here. Go buy Hoppo some flowers and sign my name to the card. She'll get over it. Boy, money sure is changing Bumble Lion. A 
Okay, funny boy. We just got word that a big pile of money was found in your mailbox. What have you got to say now? I'll take three more mailboxes just like that. That does it. Oh, come on. I'm innocent. I've never stolen anything. Well, maybe a few jokes. Okay, one last joke. Uh, what kind of key goes in through a door but goes out through a window? I give up. What kind? A rhino key! <laughs> Excuse me, but are you free? No, but I'm inexpensive. Well, I never! These your best roller skis? The best. They have soft shock suspension, hydroplane radial tires, with water and street grip brakes. They're the super duperest I've ever seen. Yeah, they are super, but I'm not so sure about duper. What do you mean? Well, now that my bank account has grown, so have my tastes. Yeah, and so is your head. Should I wrap these for you? Nah, forget it. Call me when you get the superest, duperest roller skis. I only buy the best. Here we go, Rhinoki. This'll help you relax. Rhinoki, where'd you go? I'm up here. What are you doing up there? Trying to shed a little light on my problem. <laughs> this is no time to joke, Rhinoki. You're in serious trouble. Well, what's the worst that could happen, huh? They'll throw me in jail, where I'll have a captive audience for my jokes. <laughs> you won't have any time for jokes. Why, you'll be worked to exhaustion. Work? Oh, no, not that. What, what, what am I gonna do, Moosel? Help me think! If the police see me, I'm finished. Wait, maybe I can disguise myself. Hey, a good idea. By the time we're done, you won't recognize yourself. Great! The unknown wuzzle! Well, Rhinoki, what do you think? Rhinoki? Come on out, take a look. It's safe. You're sure? Don't forget your accent. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, say, partner, you did a fine job making a banana loaf split of this cab. Well, uh, don't y'all think it'd be a little obvious riding down the highway in a four-wheel triple scooper? Don't worry. With a Wuzzleville parade coming up, we'll fit right in. Well, come on, then. Let's scram them. I mean, uh, let's hit them up and move them out. Come on, Kai. Oh, yippee, yippee. <laughs> spends all of the bank's money, it'll take more than a costume to keep Rhinoki out of trouble. His next costume will have stripes on it. And then the little stinger had the nerve to say to me, when it comes to money, some of us have it, and most of you don't. That doesn't sound like Bumble Lion. Shh. Here he comes. Hi, kids. Say, does anyone happen to know what time it is? Why? Won't your watch give you the time of day? My watch? It's time to go shopping, Bumble Lion. Oh, so it is. Ta-ta, gang. Let's have lunch sometime. I'd like to take my lunch and dump it over his head. I sure don't like the new Bumble Lion. Maybe someone should tell Bumble Lion to buy back his old personality. I meant someone else. Hi, guys. Oh, we have something important to speak to you about, Bumble Lion. Yeah, I know why you're here. You do? 
Oh, good. Then you understand. You see, I told you Bumble Lion would come around. You need a loan. Don't be embarrassed. I remember what it was like before I came into money. I don't want your money. I want your old self back. Come on, Hoppo, let's go. No use trying to talk to Mr. Bumble Scrooge. What did she mean by my old self? Well, you are acting kind of different lately, Bumble Lion. I'm the same old Bumble Lion, just richer. <laughs> but you're not the same. The money has changed you, Bumble Lion. Well, naturally, but only for the better, Elaru. Better clothes, better car. I'd better go. Boy, once you've got money, your friends really change. Bumble Lion is a little confused. He's the one who's changed. Well, when we last left Bumble Lion, he was in the money, but out of friends. I thought being rich was supposed to be fun, but it's boring without friends. They'll be back. All of them. I know it. I hope. It's the gang! I knew they'd come back! Hi, Muso! Hi, Rhinoki! How'd you know it was me? Who else would be dressed like that? The police are after him. They think he stole money from the bank. You mind if I come in? <laughs> you gotta help me. Give me back the money I loaned you. Oh, no, you don't. I'm wise to your tricks. I already paid back the loan. I left the money in your mailbox. My mailbox? So that's the money the police found. Hey, where'd you get that much money? I thought you were broke. None of your business. And don't think you're gonna get any of it either. Wait a minute. I recognize those. They're bank bags. Give them to me. No, oh, no, you don't. I wished for them. If you want some, make your own wish. Okay. I wish I had one of these money bags. Now I'm being robbed. Friends like you, I don't need. is now a banana loaf splat! The 
hope this doesn't mean I'm all washed up. <laughs> how I lost the bank's money. When I hit that bump, the bags must have bounced out of my cab. Gee, Rhinoki, I feel terrible. I never meant to get a good friend in trouble. I've become really selfish, haven't I? Oh, I wouldn't say you were selfish, Bumbalion. I'd say, well, wonderful, terrific, sensitive, generous. Nope, selfish is the right word. You're right. I can't believe how I changed over some silly money. But I sure learned there's one thing money can't buy. Yeah, a decent photo and a wanted poster. No, good friends. But what am I gonna do? How can I get my friends back? All right, you refugees from the rinse cycle. It's all over for you. Wait, officer. We found the money missing from the bank of was. Oh, yeah? There's a reward out for it, you know. A reward? Once Bumble Lion pays off his spending spree and demolition bills, I wonder how much money will be left. Gee, Bumble Lion, this is great of you to treat us to a party with the last of the reward money you got. I wanted to do something to make up for the terrible way I treated all of you. So, I hope you'll all forgive me. <laughs> of course we do, silly boy. What's this? Wow! New roller skis! But why did you get me these after I treated you so badly? Well, because we're your friends, whether you're rich or poor. Yeah! Besides, they were on sale. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'll be right back as soon as I try these out. Well, here we are. Another happy, peaceful ending in was. Well, every ending can't be peaceful. Well, it's all very well, you go and... This is BBC Two, now programme Chocolat, with rhyming words and pictures to go with them. Chocolate block. <laughs> I'll get you a block from the block stock. These blocks are chock a block with words and pictures. Now, this one will do. Oh, put it in a block slot. And check the picture. Birds. An owl, a cockerel, and a cuckoo. I'll check Chuck a Block, see if he's got any noises to go with them. Meow. 
no, no, no. Cats, dogs and sheep, I don't think that's quite right. I'd better record some more noises. Twit, twoo! Twit, twoo! Sound replay. a dust for that. Ah, does like a dust, you know. Well, now he's got all the noises. I wonder if he'll give me a tune. A chocker tune. My dame has lost her shoe. My master's lost his fiddling stick and knows not what to do. Do you know that? See if Chocoblock's got a picture of the dame in his picture stock. There she is. I think I'll put her song into Chocoblock's sound stock. <laughs> cock a doodle do my dame has lost her shoe my master's lost his fiddling stick and doesn't know what to do cock a doodle do what is my dame to do till master's found his fiddling stick she'll dance without her shoe cock a doodle do my dame has found her shoe my master's found his fiddling sticks in cock a doodle do right check the chocolate block Seems he got all of that. No, no, no. He's missed out all the oo sounds. Perhaps you could fill them in. Wait a minute. Another tune. Must be a picture of that somewhere. Oh dear. Chocobot's gone all doodle alley. Now, what's the picture? It's a doodle. A doodle of what? It's a doodle zoo. See if you can spot the animals in the Doodle Zoo. <laughs> it's a Doodle Cow. Try another one and listen out for the sounds that Chocobot makes. Ooh, it's 
it's a doodle owl. Try another one. Maybe there's some birds and animals on the rocker blocks today. Only one way to find out. Move the rocker blocks. And rock the block. Hmm. A crow. Something that sounds like crow. Rock the block. Sheep? Crow and sheep? No. <laughs> Rock the block. Crow and snow. Lose the snow and rock the crow. Pig. Something that sounds like pig. Rock the block. Pig and cat? <laughs> no. Rock the block. Pig and horse? <coughs> Wrong, of course. <laughs> Rock the block. Pig and hair? <coughs> oh, could be a wig. Pig and wig. Yes. Lose the wig and rock the pig. A cuckoo. Something that ends in a sound like cuckoo. Ooh, ooh. Rock the block. It's a doodle. A doodle shoe. Cuckoo and shoe. Lose the shoe. And on the other side of Chocoblock's block today, there's a very strange tale of a woman who lives in a shoe. And it's a very noisy shoe. 22 children live in it. Have a look. Well, there was an old woman who lived in a shoe With so many children she didn't know what to do With 22 children all in a shoe Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do, oh, what to do Called any early and sent them to bed But when she said Bed, bed, I said uh, They wouldn't come and they said instead Won't do, won't do, won't do, I won't do We'll only agree that it's our bedtime When for all our names you find a rhyme For all 22? Yes, 22, 22, 22, oh. uh, 22 Right Quick as you can. And Pam, Pam, uh, put down Sam, and, and Sam, Sam, you covered in jam. Ray, Ray, uh, call it a day. Faye, Faye, uh, don't run away. Uh, Fred, Fred, it's time for bed. Uh, um, Ned, Ned, come on out of the shed. Maisie, Maisie, you'll drive me crazy. Daisy, Daisy, now don't be lazy. Dave, Dave, I'm not your slave. Maeve, Maeve, now try to behave. 
Jane, Jane, you're late again. Wayne, Wayne, this is no time for train. Gus, Gus, now come on, don't make a fuss. Russ, Russ, that's not your fuss. Mark, Mark, it'll soon be dark. Come on. Clark, Clark, now stop that lark. Mike, Mike, on your bike. Rick, Rick, I don't like that trick. Nick, Nick, don't wait that stick. Ron, Ron, come on, time you were gone. Uh, Hugh, Hugh. That's all 22. And so the old woman for all 22 found rhymes to bring them back to the shoe. And now they all snuggled, yes, it's quite true. In the shoe, in the shoe, in the shoe, in the shoe, in the shoe. Good night to you from all 22. What a to do, asleep in a shoe. <laughs> Yes, and the same to you. See how many words and animal noises you can remember that have an oo sound. But for now, it's Chocker Girl checking out. Toodaloo. Tomorrow at 20 past one, we meet up once. Just an old-fashioned day in the country Under heavenly skies of blue Just an old-fashioned day in the country With nothing better to do Just an old-fashioned day in the country Sunlight sparkling through the trees 
Just an old fashioned day in the country, doing anything we please. There's no need to worry about a single thing. The snail is on the thorn, the lark is on the wing. Just an old fashioned day in the country, where the dandelions tell the time. Just an old fashioned day in the country, with old fashioned hills to climb. Right, but don't go too far. I won't. How's it going? Oh, another 10, 15 minutes, that's all. Don't get lost. Once upon a time, a girl called Rose was exploring in a dark, mysterious wood when, quite by chance, she came across a little house. It was so strange and so small that she just had to look inside. Home. Rose knew that she shouldn't go into a strange house without being invited, but she did. The little house was full of objects from the past and the present, bric-a-brac and curiosities. But most curious of all was the mirror above the fireplace. Instead of a girl, her reflection was a fully grown woman. Rose was seeing herself in the future.
looking in my mirror. I can see a child there. Who are you? 